my fucking god Dora. I cannot believe he destroyed Jaina's room for revenge. Thanks to you. She lost all of her stuff and has to sleep in the living room because of you. That's it. Today is your 13th punishment day. No 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 please. Not another punishment day. I suffer enough with those punishments. Please. I don't want another punishment day. Toba Dora. You are getting a 13th punishment day and that's final. No let's be him with the punishments. First punishment, I will use a chainsaw to cut your hair off. No 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 no. Huh. There they are. It's them. We found them. It's those wanted child abusers we were looking for. Let's get them right now. Hey. Who are you people? Let us go right now. Elena, Cole, and Soldad Marquez. You three are under arrest. What? What did we do? For child abusing your daughter. Now hold on. You can't arrest this. Dora should be the one be arrested cause she destroys someone's bedroom and... Wait a second. You're not the Go City Police. Who are you people? We're the police from Boulogne, Boulogne Court of Paris, France. You child abusers are in hot water right now. We heard about you three abusing your dog the 24-7, and giving her punishment days 12 times in a row. What is wrong with you people? Yeah. Not only that. You almost chainsaw her giving her a 13th punishment day. Luckily we came here in time. How dare you so much. That's it. You are going to court called Palais de Justice to Paris in Paris, France. Your daughter will no longer be part of you anymore. You're coming with us to the police helicopter. Hey. Let us go right now. You can't do this to us. Hi there little girl. You must be Dora Marquez. Are you okay? Yes. But who are you? And how do you find us at her house? We are the police from Boulogne Billon Court of Paris, France. We got someone who know where you and your parents live. We heard all about you being abused by your psychopath parents. Wait, so you came here to save me? Yes, we are. Your parents are heading to Paris, France in court and will facing a lot of consequences for abusing you for your whole life. Wow. This is really happening. I hope it's not a dream. But it is not. Thank you so much officer from Paris, friends. You guys are my heroes. You're welcome Dora. You should come with us too. Cause Go City is not safe for you here. Instead, you will be moving to Paris, friends for a safe place. You will also go to court and explain to the judge about what happened to you and soon they will found guilty for what they done to you. Okay. I will do that. Good. Let's go to the other police helicopter. Your parents are in the first helicopter. You will go to the other police helicopter so you are not near them. Let's go. For today's exciting news, the police has found the child abusers, Elena, Cole, and Soledad Marquez. We're going live with Priscilla Blaze who's in front of their house. Priscilla? Stop, yes, Admiral. Let us go. Look, here I am in front of the Marquette family's house in Go City. As they are to say, the police has found the child abusers, Elena, and so got Marquez. We are being dragged in the police helicopter in their van system. The child abuse victim, or Marquette, has been saved. They'll be heading to court in France in a few hours. Back to you, Admiral. Thank you so much for saving me from my abusive parents. I can't wait to go to court and get them what they deserved. You're welcome, Dora. Now that your parents are already taken off in that helicopter, let's get in the other one and get to France right away. Okay. Greetings, and welcome back to GNN France News. Right now we just got a report that the child abusers, Elena, 
Cole, and Soldad Marquez, has arrived in Paris from Go City. We will go live with Maiden Alekire who's at front of the courthouse, Belayda Justice de Paris. Can you hear me Maiden? I'm here at the line. So here in the front of the courthouse, always the Justice de Paris. As you see, the child abusers have officially arrived from Go City. They will now be heading to court for their crimes. You people better let us go right now. You can't do this to us. We mean it. What the... Oh my god! Oh, Abuela, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Those people, they are. They are angry at us. This can't be. Move you child abusers. You are getting in the court for your crime. Let's go, Dora. It's time for your parents' call so you can explain all this keeps happening to you. Alright. I can't wait for those people to teach my parents a lesson. Now we will go on live event of the trial of Elena, Cole, and Soldad Marquez. Inside Palais de Justice de Paris, live event begins now. Court is now in session. So we are going in the record, in matter of people, versus Elena, Cole, and Soledad Marquez, who are convicted of giving their daughter a punishment days 12 times in a row, abusing her so badly and murdered her many times, Elena, Cole, and Soledad Marquez. Do you realize how much damage you done to your dog by life? And you almost about to chainsaw her by giving her a 13 punishment day. Luckily the police here stop you in time. You even gave her the worst birthday gift by giving her a punishment day. Brutally and injuring her 24-7. Murdered her a few times, but luckily Gonamate logic always brought her back to life. Destruction her room few times. Like, what is wrong with you people? Do you have anything to say for this? For your information, Dora is the worst author and everyone we could have. She always caused trouble and caused destruction to your city. She deserves to have a punishment day. I agree with my wife. She's not even a troublemaker and she deserves to be punished big time and she also deserves to die. I agree with my daughter and son-in-law. She even get revenge on us and ruining your life. She doesn't deserve to live on this earth. Mom, Dad, and Abuela. Do you realize how much you put me through? I am getting tired of you grounding me and giving me a punishment day non-stop. And I had to get revenge on you because how the way you treated me like a slave and punching bag. You are the worst parent I ever had. You gave away my freedom and punished me a lot. Shut up Dora. You brought this to yourself. You don't ever talk to us like that. If you dare speak to us that way again, me, your father, and your grandma will... Shut the hell up Elena. Your daughter has a right point about you. Don't even think about giving your daughter punishment day, cause you're in handcuffs. You have no remorse at all, you should realize that this is child abuse. And how badly you treated her and punished her way to the extreme. You and your husband and your mother should be very ashamed of yourselves. Excuse me your honor. Yes, inspector. The officers have found and brought the other criminals who abused Dora here, is Amber Christina, Dora's teacher, Mr. Cherry, Dora's principal, Dora's cousin and uncle. Dora's classmates, Gab, Kevin, and Gina Delgado along with her mother. The officers are already bringing them here to court right now. Good. Oh my god. Please tell me this is true. What? Don't tell us that they... Hey. Get your hands off of us right now. You better let us go at once. You can't do this to us. <gasps> Elena, Cole, and Soledad? Um, hi Mrs. Christina, Mr. Cherry, Diego, Nico, Mrs. Delgado, Gina, Gab, and Kevin. It seems they are rest and brought you here too. 
Aunt Elena. What's going on? And I see Dora right next to the judge. Gina. These people are giving angry stares at us, all of us. Oh God, they are really angry at us. I really feel like something is wrong. I feel so scared. Oh boy, this is really making me uncomfortable and scared. Well, well, well. Looks like we got more criminals who abused Dora Marquez in my court. Hey, who are you to call us criminals? Dora is a criminal and should be in jail and... Shut the hell up, mister. You are criminals cause you abused Dora and involved in her punishment day. Now that you child abusers are here, let's continue with the session. Amber Christina, you are convicted of abusing Dora, being a strict teacher, also involved her punishment day twice. What do you have to say for yourself? Well, Dora is my worst student in my class. She never pay attention and cause trouble in my class and ruining Gina's life. Not only that, she petrified me almost a year ago in May. She also licked me in her dirty imagination. She deserved to have a punishment day and I helped her parents with her punishment and deserved to have the worst birthday ever. That is no excuse to do that to your student. And I believe why she petrified you, because how the way you treated her, and give her a lot of hard tests. You should be ashamed. You should realize that teachers cannot abuse their students like that. You are a horrible excuse of a teacher, Amber. Hey. You don't speak to her like that. Who do you think you are? You should be. Shut your mouth, Mr. Cherry. I'm the judge here. And you are also convicted of abuse, Dora. Allow child abuse at your school, involved in her punishment day on her birthday. What do you have to say for this matter? Well, I allow child abuse because bad students need to teach a lesson. And Dora is my worst student in my school. She also licked me as well and put a bomb to the volcano signs. She deserved to get a punishment day and I helped her parents for her birthday punishment to teach her a lesson for being the worst student in my school. Bullshit. You should realize that allowing child abuse at your school is very illegal. Not only that. You and Amber cut Dora's eyes out with a knife. You and Amber should realize that this is murder. And people won't see without your eyes. You are seriously a terrible excuse of a principal, Mr. Cherry. Diego and Nico Marquez, you both are also convicted of child abuse, violent punishments, and murder of your niece, cousin. What do you two have to say for yourselves? So, Dora is the worst cousin I ever had. Ever since when she was turned into a cow, I had to deal by cleaning her mess up and other crap I had to do. And me and my son helped our siblings and Abuela for her punishment day for stealing her mother's credit card for her freedom. She deserves all that. That was very insane of you two to do that. Nico, you shaved her nose to bleed so bad. And you, your son, and along with Dora's parents, tricked her that there's stuff she wished for, and sent her falling to her last death and went to a portal to hell. You two are seriously psychopaths. Next, Gina Delgado, you are convicted of assault, psychological abuse, and involved Dora's birthday punishment day. What do you have to say for yourself, young lady? Dora is my worst classmate and my worst enemy ever. She brought that Digimon Gilman to school and killed me and caused chaos. She deserves to be punished for trying to ruin my life. And she deserves to have a punishment day on her birthday. And I help her parents for her punishment so I teach her a lesson for what she done to me. Says the one who tried to ruin Dora's life. You've been snitching on her and you tried to stop Dora for trying to stop his mother calling Caillou's father and killed. You should be very ashamed of yourself. And you should have mind your own business. Young snitching lady. Hey. You hurt my daughter's feeling and made her cry. Who do you think you're? I didn't say you can talk Mrs. Delgado. And also, you are convicted of child abuse and involved Dora's birthday punishment day. What do you have to say for yourself for this? Well, I'm not sorry for what I did to Dora. She keeps ruining my daughter's life. She's been bullying, harassing, and hurting my daughter. So I help her parents for her punishment. She deserves that on her birthday for what she's done to my lovely daughter. Well, your daughter is the one who is ruining Dora's life. You heard what I said to her. If she doesn't snitch on Dora and mine in her own business, 
then this wouldn't have happened. You also hit Dora with a spike block in her birthday punishment day. Do you realize that's child abuse? Shame on you. Gab, you are convicted of assault, psychological abuse, and involved Dora's birthday punishment day. What do you have to say for yourself, Missy? I honestly don't care what I done to Dora. She keeps bullying my BFF Gina and ruining her life. She even hurt my feelings at school. I also helped her and Dora's parents for her birthday punishment day. She deserved it that for what she's done to my BFF and me. Like I already said to your friend and her mother. If she mind your own business and hasn't snitch on Dora, this wouldn't have happened. That only you and your friend did to her. You and your friend use an actual driller instead of hair drill to drill Dora's hair to cause her blood to come out. That was very insane of you two to do that. You two ought to be ashamed. And last but not least, Kevin, you are also convicted of assault, psychological abuse, and involved Dora's birthday punishment day. What do you have to say for yourself, young man? Fine, I admit, I helped Dora's parents along with my classmates, my teacher, the principal, and one of my classmates' mother in her birthday punishment day. And I helped them by beating her up with a spike bat, destroying her room with gasoline with fire. After all that, I axed the tree down to hit Dora for her punishment. I did all that because how the way Dora has done and causing trouble around at school. Kevin, are you serious right now? We can't believe you did all that to Dora along with her parents, the principal, your teacher and classmates along with your classmate's mother. Yeah. What is the matter with you? We did not raise you that way. Do you realize that's child abuse? We cannot believe you did all that. Just you wait until you are found guilty. Your parents are right. You should be very ashamed of yourself. So, how do you all plead? Not guilty, Your Honor. I agree with my wife. Not guilty. I agree with my daughter and son-in-law. Not guilty. I plead not guilty, Your Honor. I agree with my son. Not guilty. Not guilty. I plead not guilty. I seriously plead not guilty. I plead not guilty. I'm begging you. I agree with my BFF. Not guilty. Well, I plead guilty. Well, we have one plead guilty, but the rest of you plead not guilty. I don't believe this. So I call Marguerite and Robert de la Rabia, the parents of A de la Rabia, to the stand. Thank you, Your Honor. So, you must be the parents of Dora Marquez. My wife and I are very mad at you. The way how you treated your daughter like that. You people ought to be ashamed of yourselves. You seriously punish your daughter way too far. Cool. I saw that you put the fireworks inside in mouth and injured her face so bad. You, your wife, and your mother, chainsawed her up so bad. You even got her eyes cut off. Seriously, you guys are seriously mentally ill. I agree with my husband. You people even force her to eat a cactus. That plant is very dangerous and it's not used for eating. You people are just sick. I agree with my wife. So, my wife and I declare that you along with those people are guilty. That's all we have to say to them, Your Honor. Thank you for your time, Robert and Marguerite de la Rabia. Next, I call Michael Belpa, the father of Jeremy Belpa, to the stand. Thank you very much, Your Honor. So, you must be Elena, Cole, and Soledad Marquez. I cannot believe you would torture your daughter like that. Seriously. What is the matter with you people? Your parents are insane. Even more insane, Elena, you sawed your daughter's hand off. That was very gory of you to do that. She literally had two suffered badly. I declared you and the rest are guilty. That's all. Thank you Michael Belbois for your time. Now I call, Walter and Mrs. Stern, the parents of Ulrich Stern, come up to the stand. Thank you. But this may be loud. So you're Elena Colin Soledad, huh? You see that I'm furious at you for abusing your daughter 24-7. Do you realize how much your daughter suffer from you? You kept abusing her non-stop. Cole, you run over and hit your daughter with a motorcycle and badly injured her. She nearly died because of your insane punishment. You, your wife, and your mother are a huge disgrace. I agree with my husband. You've been treating that she's worse than Hitler. You have no rights to do that to your daughter. That is very cruel and child abuse. You tricked your daughter eating candy that has lethal poisoning on it that killed her. 
What you did is called murder. Luckily, Gonna Mate Logic brings her back to life. Yeah. Because of that, my wife and I declared you along with the other people are guilty. Big time. I hope you psycho parents get executed for all this. We're done. Thank you for your scolding and your time. Walter and Mrs. Stern, all right, I call Takeo and Akiko Ishiyama, the parents of two children. Yumi and Hiroki Ishiyama, to the stand. Gladly, Your Honor. So you must be Dora Marquez's family. You people ought to be ashamed of yourselves. We can't believe you've been abusing and torturing your daughter nonstop. You people are just crazy. Elena, Cole, you even put Dora inside a washing machine. What is wrong with you? Washing machines are used to wash clothes, not a person in. She could have get killed because of you guys. I agree with my husband. You guys are seriously sick in the head. Elena, I saw this terrible video of yours embarrassing your daughter on her birthday. With her injuries. It really breaks my heart. That video you posted was not funny. You, your husband, mother, and others behind you involved in her birthday punishment day should be ashamed of yourselves. Yeah, I hope this terrible video of yours gets taken down soon. Me and my wife declared all of you are guilty for what you guys have done to Dora. We're finished, your honor. Thank you for your time, Takeo and Akiko Shiyama. And lastly, I call James and Mrs. Dunbar, the parents of William Dunbar, to the stand. Gladly. So you must be the family of Dora Marquez. We are very angry at you for child abuse, torture, and assaulting your daughter a lot. You guys had poor parenting skills. I'm serious. Even a lot worse. You along with your brother and nephew, insanely electric your daughter by letting her explode. That was seriously just very insane of you guys to do that. Just insane. My husband is right. You guys are just psychopaths. You've been treating her like a punching bag and she is so young to be abused like that. You even forced your daughter to eat rocks. Are you kidding me? Rocks are not meant for eating and that could cause an infection or damage organs on her and she could have had a heart attack because of you. My wife is right. As for that, we declared that you and the other people behind you are guilty as charged. I hope this will teach you. That's all we have to say for them, Your Honor. James and Mrs. Dunbar, thank you for your time. Now, since Kevin already pleaded himself guilty, what does the jury and everyone including Dora Fine Elena, Cole, Sola Dead, Diego, Nico Marquez, Amber Christina, Mr. Cherry, Gina Delgado and her mother, and Gab find? Guilty. Right. Kevin, for assaulting and help Dora's parents for Dora's birthday punishment day. You are sentenced to 10 years in juvenile detention center at Club Desk Jacobins. Oh no, what have I done? Now my parents are going to be furious at me when they see me in juvie. Oh yeah, Kevin, we will be seeing you in juvie when they take you there. Gab, for assaulting, drilling Dora's hair, and help Dora's parents for Dora's birthday punishment day. You are sentenced to 15 years where Kevin will be at. No, that's not fair, Dora deserves all that, now my life is ruined, wah uh, uh. Gina Delgado, for assaulting, drilling Dora's hair, made Dora's life a living hell for Snitch and others on her and help Dora's parents for Dora's birthday punishment day. You are sentenced to 25 years where Kevin and your friend Gab will be at. After you and your friend turned 18, you will be moved to Los Santa Prison. What? You can't do this to me. That is the longest sentence ever. Why can't Dora be sentenced? This is not fair. Now my life is officially ruined for a very long time. Wah -uh -uh. What? You can't do this to my daughter like that. She is far too young to be sentenced for 25 years like this. Shut up Mrs. Delgado. For child abuse and help Dora's parents for Dora's birthday punishment day. You are sentenced to 50 years in Fleury Maroji's prison. Are you serious? 50 years? For I did to Dora? But that's not fair. That is a very long sentence. I won't live that long there. Too bad. Life isn't fair. If you hadn't helped Dora's parents for Dora's birthday punishment day, this wouldn't have happened. This is for your lesson for what you have done. Moving forward, Diego and Nico Marquez, for psychological abuse, insane punishments, and child abuse. 
You both are sentenced to 75 years in Fleury Maroji's prison. What? 75 years? That is the longest sentence ever. That feels like life in prison. That is not fair. But you can't do that. We can't live that long for 75 years in prison. I don't care. This is what happens when you punish your cousin, Nee, so insanely. So that is your punishment for what you two did, Amber Christina. Because you've been abusing and treating your student, and being a strict teacher, you are permanently removed from your job as a teacher, and Mr. Cherry, for allowing child abuse at your school, abuse of power, and abusing and treating one of your student. You are also permanently removed from your job as the principal. And for psychological abuse, cutting Dora's eyes off, and child abuse, you both are sentenced to life in prison. What? Life. But you can't do that. I've been working as a teacher since 2011. You can't give my life away. And I've been working as the principal ever since 2015. You can't take away my life like that. My brother Alan and my nephew Warren Cook are going to be mad at me. I heard that you're Alan Cook's brother and Warren Cook's uncle, according to one of Troublemaking hosting a slumber party videos. I heard that in one of Alexander Wormser's video. But anyways, to bad. This is what you two get for what the frick you've done to your student. You will never work as the teacher, principal ever again since you're spending life behind bars. And finally, Elena, Cole, and Soledad Marquez, for psychological abuse, murder, assault, torture, destruction, extreme child abuse, and other more. And including by giving her 12 punishment days in a row and almost giving her a 13th punishment day. You three are sentenced to death in the electric chair. Your execution is scheduled on January 15, 2023 until the next few days and... Hey, your honor. Um, what is it, Dora? Instead of executing my parents on January 15 this year, I have a perfect idea for them. Oh, what's your idea, Dora? I would like to request that we should give my parents a... Punishment day. What? No. Dora, how could you? Your Honor, please don't accept my daughter's request. Wow, Dora. That sounds like a great idea. Yes. Because this will my revenge and a payback for my parents giving me a punishment day nonstop. I will decide at how many punishments and think of the perfect one we'll give them. After we're done with the punishments, we will execute them on the electric chair for tomorrow, so I have time to think of the worst punishments for my parents. Please. We're begging you. Please don't accept my daughter request. Just executed us on January the 15th. Please. Oh, you have a great point about this. Your request is... Don't you dare accept. Accept it. No, oh, 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 oh. No, no, no. No, 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 no. We don't want to have a punishment day. Well, guess what, Elena? You, your husband, and your mother will be scheduled to have a punishment day until 8 o'clock in the morning. No, stop. You can't do this to my uncle and and abuela. Please don't give my siblings and my mother a punishment day. You can't do this to them. Shut the hell up, you two. Police. Take these people away. And Please Elena. don't take Uncle us Cole. to prison. Please let Aunt us Willa. go. All right. Anyways, you will be staying in friend's prison until tomorrow at 8 o'clock in the morning. And when it's time, you will be getting a punishment day by every townsfolk including your daughter. After your punishment day is done, you will be executed in the electric chair. Police, get those child abusers out of my court. You can't do this to us. This can't be happening. Court dismissed. Life event of the trial of Elena, Cole, and Soldad Marquez is now over. They will be getting a punishment day tomorrow at 8 o'clock in the morning. After their punishments, they will be getting executed in the electric chair. If you want to join and help Dora giving her parents a punishment day, sign up at the police station. It ends until 10 p.m. Anyways, we will go on a commercial break. Stay tuned for more GNN France news.
This is so not fair. We can believe that Dora would request the judge to have our punishment day. Now we're going to going to have the same suffer like her. I know Elena. If only we would punish her for requesting the judge to have our punishment day. But we can't since we're in prison until it's time for our punishment day. I agree, Cole. This is going to be the worst life ever. I hope nothing has reached you or say. Oh no. Please don't tell me it's... Attention everyone. It's 8 o'clock a.m. Today is the day for Elena, Cole, and so did Marquez to have their punishment day. Everyone is ready for them. Release them from their cell. Oh no. This is not going to be good. Alright Elena, Cole, and Soledad Marquez. It's now time for your punishment day. Your daughter along with other town folks are waiting for you by Main Street. Let's go. You guys are done. It is now 8 o'clock a.m. Today is the time that Elena, Cole, and Soledad Marquez are getting a punishment day by their daughter along with a lot of town's folks. We will go on a live event, also. This may not be suitable for younger audience to watch, make sure no one under 17 is watching this live event. Anyways, live event begins now. Alright Elena, Cole, and Soledad Marquez. These people including your daughter are already here for you. Get out of the police car right now. Good luck with your punishment day. And we will get the electric chairs ready for you while you three are having your punishments. Now get out. Well 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 mom dad and abuela. I hope you stupid parents of mine are ready for this. This is a payback and my revenge for what you done to me. Hope you're ready for your punishment day. And for that. We will also help her out along with everyone else who will help. This will seriously teach you guys a lesson for what you done to your daughter. Oh, and this will be brutal, like you did to your daughter. And there's no way you can deny it. Dora, and everyone, please. Don't give us our punishment day. We are so sorry for punishing our daughter way to the extreme. We promise we will never do it again. Your apology is freaking denied, and you're not sorry at all. You did that to your daughter on purpose, so that's just too bad. You're getting a punishment day and that is final. Period. Yeah, and there's no way you can change our minds. This is for your daughter's payback. Now let's begin with the punishments. And no, we are not telling you how many. Now let's begin. Okay. First punishment, I will pepper spray your eyes. Open your eyes wide right now. <laughs> oh my god, our eyes are burning so bad. <laughs> well, this is what you get for abusing your daughter 24-7. Now let's begin for you next punishment. Alright, second punishment, you will be getting 100 concussions from a young man. 100 concussions. Please don't tell me that's Fred Jones that is betraying us. No, it's not Fred Jones. It's a young boy wearing glasses who moved here from a city called Splitsboro. He's been treated as sympathetic since he was abused as a punching bag. And he now has anger problems but only if people who are being a jerk to him including his friends who moved here too. He's already turned 18 and already graduate early due to the graduation incident after he burned the diplomas by accident and he and the students at Splitsboro have to start over. Thanks to his terrible and strict head teacher, his name is Eric Needles. Eric, would you do the honors? That's right. I can't believe you've been abusing your daughter way to the extreme. You three are just like the people from Splitsboro including my terrible excuse of my friends who did this to me. You child abusers better get ready for 100 concussions from me for your whole life.
Oh. My. Freaking. God. Our heads are in serious pain. We could have died of blunt force trauma or either have amnesia. Finally. It took you guys 20 minutes for us waiting for you to wake up. Even though people are talking, texting, playing games and calling on their phones while we're waiting. You still have more punishments to go, now get up, it's time for your next punishment. Okay, third punishment, you will be drinking milks that are expired a very long time ago. Oh no, I don't want to drink this. This milk happened to be expired on January 16, 2005. Oh god, I don't wanna drink this. This milk expired on September 20, 1987. Oh my freaking god. That is the oldest milk ever. That milk expired on June 8, 1964. We don't want to drink this, please. Well that's just too bad. Either you drink these right now, or else we'll have Dora add more punishments. Fine. We'll drink this. But you guys are seriously going to regret it. <laughs> Holy crap it tastes so gross that it really made us vomit so bad. We don't care how it tastes. This is what you get for child abusing your daughter. Now let's move on to your next punishment. Um, why are we here at this forest for? Well, for your fourth punishment, you three are getting a huge beating. But not with the bare fists, cause Dora already has something better than fist. Wait, you don't mean? That's right. For your brutal punishment, me and everyone will beat you up with Spike Bats. No! You've got to be kidding. Please, don't beat us up with the Spike Bats. Too bad. This is for your lesson for abusing your daughter. Now you will get the same fate like your daughter. Okay everyone, let's beat these child abusers up. Get ready to feel the same pain as me. Mom, Dad, and Abuela. Holy Mother of God. That was the worst beating we have ever had. We will never forgive you guys for what the freak you done to us. Especially you, Dora. I don't care how you feel. This is what you get for abusing your daughter way too far. Now you know how the pain feels like you and including your stupid ally friends did to Dora. You're still not done with the punishment yet. Get up. Come on. We are now moving on to your next punishment. Now for your fifth punishment, me and Jerry will drop a piano right on top of you. You will stand on the target spot so we can release the piano to drop on you. What? Are you serious right now? This is like back when we including our allies gave Dora a birthday punishment day, Gab throw a piano on Dora. And now we're having the same thing, but only the piano will drop and crush us. There is no way we're standing on the target and getting crushed by a piano. Well mom, dad, and abuela, if you still hadn't abusing me for my whole life, this wouldn't have happened. Now either get on the target right now, or else I will add more punishments. And don't even think about coming here and attack me, because there's more than a one hundreds of people here. And they will apprehend you and I will add a lot more punishments. You heard what your daughter said. Now you three either get on the target, or we'll have your dog add more punishments. Alright fine. We'll get on the target. You guys are seriously going to regret that too. Okay Jer. They're on the target. Go ahead and push the button to release the piano Jerry. You got it Tom old buddy. Oh god. Better prepare for the piano to crush us. Holy freaking crap. 
The piano just crushed and hurt her is so bad. This is even worse than getting beaten up with spike bats. Wow. Haha. Now you know how the pain feels just like I threw a piano at me. You deserved it for abusing me for my whole life. Your daughter's right. After we move that broken piano, we will move on to your next punishment. And this is going to be very loud for you. Okay, since we have permission to use the abandoned warehouse and tied you guys up. Your sixth punishment is that you will be listening to the Baby Shark song made by Pink Fong. And the reason why we tied you up, because you will listen to it in loud volume for two hours to prevent you from covering your ears. What? No. Are you kidding? We don't want to listen to that crappy annoying song from hell. Baby Shark is the worst and annoying song that everyone would listen to. And besides, we don't want to hear it so loud. It will hurt our eardrums. Please. Too bad. If you hadn't abused your daughter to the extreme, this wouldn't have happened. It's still happening. Now we will put on the song right after we leave the warehouse. Enjoy the song. Hope this song gets stuck in your head mom, dad and abuela. Oh god. I can't believe we have to listen to that annoying and crappy song. This is so going to be really loud and annoying. <laughs> Okay. Your two hours are up. Holy crap, do 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 our ears are bleeding so bad do 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 and we can't stop saying do 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 we will never listen to that song ever again do 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 do. We don't care how you hate this song. This is what you get for child abusing your daughter non-stop. Now we will move on to your next punishment. Okay, now the reason why we're here at this street close at the pawn shop. Your seventh punishment that you will watch Dora spending stuff she wanted with your credit cards. What? How did you guys get our credit cards from all the way from Gold City? After your trial and Dora found a perfect punishment for you, Dora had someone use Gonamate logic to go get your cards. Now, prepare for your worst punishment. Now Dora, since your parents have over $5,000 in their credit cards, why don't you to go to the pawn shop and get things that you always wanted for your whole life? Since your parents are getting executed, they won't be needing their credit cards anymore. This is for their punishment and never let you have freedom. Would you like that? Oh my god. Yes. I will do that. I can't wait to show my parents their worst nightmare and I can finally get things I've been waiting for my life. I am so getting in that shop now. PS4 door games and whatever they have that I want. Here I come. Oh no. We better stop Dora before she spends. Oh no you don't. Hey! Bug. Hey! No! Let us go right now. We can't let Dora spend stuff with our credit cards at the pawn shop. Oh no you're not. This is what you get for child abuse. If you're going try to stop your daughter from spending stuff from your credit cards. We will have you guys on the ground until your daughter has all of your money from your credit cards. Rattleshake is right Elena, and it's already too late. Your daughter has already got something she wanted and now ready to show us right now. Oh my god. I finally got the PS4 I wanted so many times that my parents keep destroying it. Now I can play it again. No, not the PS4. Now how's that for your punishment? Yes. They have that PS5 here. This is so lucky. Oh my god. Not the PS5. That console is so expensive. Yay. I got the Nintendo Switch Lite with a gold color for the second time since my parents burned it down. Now I can use it again as well. No. Not another Nintendo Switch let me burn the other one down back then. This pawn shop is so lucky. They even have the Xbox Series X. No 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 no. Not the Xbox Series X. That one is even more expensive than that PS5. This is getting more lucky. 
I got me another laptop with Windows 11. <laughs> This is the best day of my life. I got every of my games they have at the pawn shop. I even spend all for the other console and plug and play so I can play my games. Best day ever, Dora. How could you spend every junk and just stupid games with our credit cards? We are so breaking them when we... Oh hell no you're not. There, all of her new stuff are put in the box, and I'm taking her stuff to Cataco Academy since the principal kindly gave her a new dorm for her new home until she turns 18. And I will also take your credit cards away and have them shredded while I'm there since your credit cards have zero balance. Now you will never break your new stuff ever again, and you will also not take them back and have your balance on your credit card back since they are being shredded when I get there, and also since you're being executed after your punishment day is done. Now you will move on to your next punishment now while I take Dora's new stuff to Kaduk Academy. This is the worst punishment ever. Now for your eighth punishment and for your daughter's payback, me along with the other people will record you guys being embarrassing and possibly make you guys throw tantrums. Everyone who has their phones, take them out and record them to make them embarrassed humiliated, this could possibly make them throw tantrums like little kids. No! Don't record us like this. We don't want to look embarrassed with our injuries and wear prison uniforms. Please. It's too late. We already start recording you. Get ready to be embarrassed. This is your daughter's payback and this is what you get for abusing her. Also a TV cameraman is here too. No 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 stop recording us we don't want to look like this please stop stop it stop it we don't want to be embarrassed and humiliated like this please No stop laughing at us this isn't funny please stop laughing No 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 please stop this right now this isn't funny please stop recording us it's not funny This video is going on your social media accounts and others and share it to everyone to show how embarrassed and humiliated you feel for your lesson. No don't upload that to your social media accounts, please. It's too late for that. I already upload the video on your social media accounts. The other people will upload theirs too. This is what you terrible parents get. Okay, now I just... Hey guys, my mother wanted me to show you this video. Check it out. <laughs> Lol, that's her cucumber Dora's parents throwing a fit. I know. They deserve that for abusing their daughter Dora. I agree. This video is so funny. Hey bye. Check out this video that our friends showed us. Oh my god, Rook becomes Elena, Cole and Abuela Marquez are throwing temper tantrums like a five-year-old. Yeah, they deserve that for abusing their daughter. Agree. Ha 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 ha, I get no quarter for what they've done. That's terrible. Those people, including their daughter, are embarrassing and humiliated them. I feel bad for them. I wish I could help them.
this is literally the worst punishment we have ever had in our lives. How could you guys do this to us to ruin our lives? You people are even worse than Dora. What is wrong with Nothing you people? Nothing is wrong with us. It's you what's wrong with you. You deserve this for what you done to your daughter. The video we record has already reached over thousands of views, 500 shares, 7500 likes, and more. I'm sure this video will be much better than your terrible embarrassing video of your daughter from your YouTube channel. Speaking of that, we will move on to your next punishment. Okay, now the reason why we tied you up again, but on the chairs, your ninth punishment is that I will delete all of your social media accounts. What? How the hell did you guys manage to log in our social media accounts? Well mom, when you, dad, and Abuela are not here, I snuck into your computers after you broke my laptop, I discovered your passwords and write it down and did it so you can't find it. Dora, are you serious right now? We cannot believe you snuck into our laptops and discovered our passwords and... Shut your damn mouth Elena. If you dare try to punish your daughter, we will have had a lot more punishments if you dare. Now say goodbye to your social media accounts. I'm deleting them right now. And you will never see your accounts again since you're being executed, including the embarrassing video of your daughter on her birthday. No! Stop! Don't delete all of our social media accounts. We had family pictures and memories we're sharing, including we have over 250 followers. Stop! Please stop. Don't do it. It's too late. I already delete all of your social media accounts. They're all gone. Forever. No, oh, 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 oh since the principal of Kadok Academy kindly allowed us to use one of the dorm showers, your tenth punishment is that you will be taking a 1000 degree cold shower with your prison uniforms on. We already asked the principal to let the plumbers make the shower very cold with ice. Well, it's because of GoAnimate logic. This is also one of your daughter's paybacks. What the freaking crap heck? 1000 degree cold shower. That will be extremely cold for us. We are not getting in the showers to freeze to death. Too bad. This wouldn't have happened if you hadn't abused your daughter. Now either get in the showers through the door or we'll have your daughter add more punishments. Okay fine. We'll go in the showers. You guys are really going to regret that one as well also. This is going to be extremely cold. Holy mother of icing God. That was the coldest and freezing punishment we have ever had. We could have almost had the highest hypothermia and froze like a human popsicle. We don't care how freezing it is. That's for Dora's payback and for your lesson for abusing your child. You're still not done yet. We are moving on to your next punishment. Okay. Now the reason why we taught you again for the third time? This punishment will be the worst of all. What? What is the worst punishment of all, Dora? You see here, Elena. Your eleventh punishment is that you are watching your house getting destroyed by French armed forces since they kindly accepted Dora request to teach you a lesson. That's correct. They're already there up at Go City and ready to drop the bomb to your house. That's right. All of your stuff in your house will be permanently destroyed since you're being executed. Well except for your daughter's stuff. Since a few people went there and gotten. What the absolute freaking mother of freaking crap. Not our house. We live there for a very long time. You can't do this. We don't want our house get destroyed. Tell them not to do it. Too bad Elena, this is what you child abusers get, and they are already here and just about to destroy your house. Say goodbye to your house and your stuff Elena, Cole, and so did Marquez. Okay, we're here at the Marquez family's house in Go City. Go ahead and drop the bomb to the house. This will teach Dora Marquez's parents a lesson. Roger, releasing bomb.
Beloved house and our stuff is gone. I can't believe you did that to us. You guys are the worst. Shut the hell up, Elena. That's for abusing your daughter. Everything including your house is gone forever. But except for your daughter's stuff since she will be living here in this city. And she will be living at Caddick Academy until she turns 18 since her stuff is already put into her new dorm. I agree. Hope this will teach you child abusers a lesson. Yeah, since you're being executed soon. This will seriously teach you. Oh, looks like my phone is ringing. Hello? Oh, hello, officer. Oh, you guys got the electric chairs ready? All right, we'll bring them here in a few minutes. Thanks for letting us know. Okay, thanks, bye. Okay everyone, the police has called that the electric chairs are ready for Elena, Cole, and Sol Dad's execution. No! This can't be the time. Yes it's the time, before we take you to your execution, there's one thing we need to do first. Alright Mom, Dad and Abuela. Now why we brought you here again at this abandoned warehouse? Before your execution, your twelfth punishment is we will shave your what? hairs off so hard. You guys can't shave our hairs off very hard. That will hurt and we will have razor burns. Why don't you guys just shave our hairs normally? No, this is your punishment for what you guys done to your daughter. So that's just too bad. And besides, you will be executed after we shave your hairs off. Get ready for the pain of your haircuts cause we are shaving your hairs off very hard right now. Holy crap. You guys are seriously had to shave our hair so hard. Now our heads are in pain. Not to mention that you guys saved my mustache so hard. Like we said for the last time, we don't care how the pain feels. Now your hairs are completely gone. Now, for your 13th and final punishment. Please don't execute us please. We are so so sorry for abusing and giving our daughter too many punishment days. We promise that we will never abuse our daughter like that ever again. Your apology is permanently denied. Do you realize how much your daughter has gone through Beckley's the way you abuse her for her whole life? That is very unacceptable of you people. My wife is right. And you're not sorry at all. You did that to your daughter on purpose. You committed a huge child abuse crime and get away with it. But now not anymore. You're not forgiven. I agree, you have done enough for it, what you guys have done to your daughter. And, we heard from Child Protection Service that your daughter is permanently removed from your family. That's right. Your daughter is no longer in your family. Because you've been abusing her and giving her punishment days non-stop. It's time that your child abuse crimes are over. I agree. Your daughter will now have a better life without you, including her teacher and principal, your nephew and brother for 75 years, and others who are sentenced. It's over for you. I agree with my husband. You don't even know how to raise your daughter, do you? All you do is abuse her in treating that she's worse than Hitler. You guys should be ashamed of yourselves. Yeah. You guys are seriously sick in the head. You even keep murdering her a few times and gave her a punishment day on her birthday. You make me sick. It's time that your life is over. Yeah. You don't deserve to have your daughter anymore because of the way you treated her. You wouldn't even stop torturing her for her whole life. You guys are seriously manly ill. My husband is right. You will never abuse your daughter like this ever again. It's time to say goodbye and good night to you. You psychopath child abusing parents from hell. You are done. Alright Elena, Cole and Soledad Marquez. It's time for your execution. And this rate. We are leading your daughter to pull the lever switch and electrocuted you to death. Now Dora, as a favor and your revenge on your parents, would you like to pull the level switch to executed your own parents for the way they abused you for your whole life? Yes officer. I will officially do it. 
I'm so glad I can get my parents what they deserve for what they done to me. I will do it. Goodbye forever mom, dad and abuela. I'm glad I don't have to deal with you anymore. Wait. Dora. Don't do this. We're your family. Well not anymore. I am sick of you guys abusing me for my whole life. So goodbye forever. Dora please. Please. We are very sorry for abusing you for your whole life. And we promise we will never give you punishment days ever again. Do you really think I'm gonna fall for that? No. I know you're lying to me and I'm sure you will do it again. No, we are not. It's time that we should really admit for what we've done. Dora, we understand why we abused you, because the way how you're acting and causing chaos to go city. We had to do that because you need to learn your lesson. Look, we are very sorry for giving so much punishment days. We admit that all this is child abuse. And how poorly we treated you, look. You are our only daughter. And we raised you since you born. We just wanted to make sure you learned your lesson and not commit crimes. I believe we were too harsh on you. And we admit that we went way too far. And even keep killing you which we commit murder. Even though Granimate logic always keep brought you back to life. We admit everything. And we understand you wanted those stuff of wanted, but you should understand that we don't have enough money. And we should have breaking your stuff that costed money. We're sorry. And we should have a given punishment and abuse in quatro young girl life. Including a young bit die. It's time we will change the rights and the more service. We're very sorry, Dora. You heard and understand your father and grandma, right, Dora? We apologize and we admit for what we've done to you. We find all this is child abuse, killing you which it's murder, ruining your birthday, destroying your stuff, and other more. And we promise that we will never, ever do it again. Now, how about you let the police let us go and forget what we did? Will you accept our apology? Oh mom, dad, and abuela. I'm so glad you admit everything you done to me. After all this, you won't do it anymore. So, your apology is... Denied. No. You can't be. Yes. I'm serious. There is no way you're not sorry at all. And I don't believe everything you told me. Back then when I petrified Mrs. Christina and gave me a sixth punishment day, you admitted everything you told me. But you don't and lie to me before you petrified me. You've been treating like a punching bag and a slave. You keep threatening to give me a punishment day, you gave me 12 punishment days. I thought I was going to get a 13th punishment day, but thanks to the police that stopped you, I am so sick you grounding, abusing, and giving me punishment days non-stop. I have just had enough of you. You don't even care about me all the time. I am so done with you anymore. You are the worst parents I have ever had in my entire life. I'm so glad I don't have to deal with you anymore. Now prepare to be executed. Dora. Please don't do it. We love you. You don't even love me at all. You never take care of me, you just love to abuse me so much. My life will now be better without you. I am so done. Goodbye forever. Mom, Dad and Abuela. No Dora please don't. Okay, Dora. That's good enough. Please turn it off. They're dead.
the life event of Elena, Cole, and sold at Marquez's punishment day and execution is now over, they have officially been executed. Dora Marquez will have a better and good life now. She will no longer be abused and having punishment days ever again. The other criminals who abused Dora are in prison for a very long time. Now we will go on a commercial break. Stay tuned for more GNN France news. Where are we? Oh no! This seriously can't be happening! We are officially in hell! That's right! You officially are, for what you've done to your daughter! And the other demons who killed her have been banished forever, for having her sent here by mistake! For all of your crimes and abused your daughter 24-7 and giving her 12 punishment days. I'm going to blast you with my spear. Get ready for this and child abuse. No 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 no
request the judge for this. This was a perfect payback and revenge for what my parents did to me. And as for my other enemies including my cousin and uncle. My former teacher and my former principal have lost their jobs and have sentenced for the rest of their lives in Flory Moroji's prison. That's what my teacher gets for giving me so much hard tests, sending me to the principal's office non-stop, and being such a strict teacher that goes for my principal for suspending me, giving me so many detentions, and being a strict principal. Screw them for cutting my eyes off and help my parents for my birthday punishment day. The other teachers and the principal here are way better than them and they are more nicer. And for my cousin and uncle, they are both sentenced to 75 years in prison the same where my former teacher and my former principal are at, that should really teach them for helping my parents giving me brutal punishments and other crap. I bet they're really sad that my parents are executed. But I don't for abusing me. As for Mrs. Delgado, she is sentenced to 50 years in prison the same one like I said where my former teacher, my former principal, my cousin and my uncle are at. I will never forgive her for helping my parents for my birthday punishment day, hitting me with a spike block. That was she get for what she done to me. And as for her daughter, Gina the snitch, is sentenced to 25 years in Judy until she transfers to my Santa prison when she turns 18. That's what that snitch gets. For snitching on me non-stop, ruining my life, and help with my parents for my birthday punishment day, prevent me from stopping my mom calling Caillou's dad to kill my best friend, and her along her stupid BFF who was sentenced to 15 years until she will transfer where her BFF will be at until she turns 18 for drilling my hair to cause my blood to come out. I will never forget that snitch and her BFF for what they done to me. I'm so glad they got what they deserved. I don't have to deal with them for a long time including at the academy. And last, not least, Kevin, is sentenced to 10 years in juvie. I honestly don't think I will forgive for helping my parents for my birthday punishment day, and chopping the tree down to land on me. I bet his parents are really angry at him for what he done to me. I bet they will disown him since he will turn 18 after his sentence, though he admit for what he done to me and pled himself guilty. But I'm still mad at him for what he still have done to me. But now my life has officially changed. However, I was sent to the hospital because I now have suffered with post-traumatic stress disorder because of the way I was abused by my parents. The doctor said that I'll have a therapist for complex PTSD treatment for every two weeks. I still can't forget about my parents abusing me and can't get it out of my head. But hopefully I'll do my best. I'm still worried about Kai Wapiko City since he's still up there being abused by his parents. That goes for Little Bill and Satari as well too. The police has told me that they are still looking for them and arrest their parents for child abuse as soon as they can. I hope they're okay. I'm hoping they'll find them soon. As of taking classes, instead of regular class, the principal has put me into special education so it will be better than regular classes because if I go on the back and go city, I think this class is way much better. Everyone here is so nice and feel bad for me because of the incident between me and my parents. I have a lot of friends and became so popular. From here now on, I will no longer be abused and getting punishment days anymore for the rest of my life. Everything here has really changed my life. I'm no longer a troublemaker. I really hope you enjoy this movie about my parents get arrested and executed. I'm sure some of you hoping my parents get arrested and I've been saved. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.